So now we're at the point to bleed the air out of the brakes and to get new brake fluid in because obviously some of the leaked out and those calipers are completely uh, empty of brake fluid. Uh, this is where the brake fluid goes in on top of the master cylinder on the uh, Rover 45s. Um, we prefer to do it the old fashioned way. Um, there are a lot of kits out there that are sort of a one man person where you... Um, Put the brake fluid in a little container and then it'll use um, air from a tyre or you pump it up and uh, it pushes the brake fluid through. We've even got one of those but uh, we always on if there's two of us it's easier to do it the old fashioned way of having one person down by the bleed nipple and the other person pumping the brake pedal uh, and we find although those kits do a good job um, we only ever get a really good brake pedal when you do it this way I mean if you are on your own they're good and it also can be a way of getting out lots of air if you're completely changing the brake fluid and then you go over to the old-fashioned way at the end it's just what we find uh, because there's two of us we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way because we find that works the most reliable and with two of us it is the most easiest as well we're using um, dot five and as I said that's where we put the brake fluid in you can see there's the little floated warm if it got too low we put lots of cloth round the um, brake uh, reservoir because what you don't want to do is get brake fluid on the paint because it really will do damage so sometimes we even have one person just up here keeping it topped up and making sure nothing spills out because that is the uh, real disaster if you get any brake fluid uh, on your paintwork so we're going to put that cloths round there and uh, then we'll start this is what we use we have uh, an old jar with a hole in the lid and then we've got this special um, pipe here one end uh, is got this soft rub to go over the um, bleeding nipple and um, the other end has got a one-way valve on it you can see there and that also sits in some old brake fluids there's no way hopefully air can be sucked back in and then what we do is put that over there and uh, then what we do is I go into the car and uh, pump the brake pedal um, when it needs to be pumped and uh, we slowly work the uh, air out. Right, so we're all ready to get that air out the brakes. Uh, you always want to start the furthest away from the um, master cylinder where we're topping the fluid up to. On this car, the um, master cylinder is on the driver side and uh, we're not doing the back brake so we're going to be starting on the passenger side we do that first and then move over to the driver side and uh, what i do i leave the camera running i'll push my uh, foot on the brake and uh, hopefully you'll see the air coming out and i'll probably do three pumps to start off and then we'll carry on to get all that air out but that'll give you an idea of what it looks like give it three pumps Okay. Right, so before we do any more pumps, we're just going to check the uh, levels. Uh, not too bad, but a little bit low, so I'm just going to pour a little bit more in, so there's plenty in there, because if you run out of fluid, you'll end up putting even more air in than you started, so it's always worth keeping a check on that. So that's a little bit more topped up. As I said, we've got a bit of rag there. And uh, what we always do is put the lid back on the bottle, because again, the last thing you want to do is knock it over. One, it'll waste your fluid, and secondly, it'll do a lot of damage to your paint. And you don't really want this open to the air too long either. Right, so now we've come in the car, just thought I'd show you what it looks like from this side. And uh, all I'm going to do is uh, pump it another few times to continue getting the air out. And the brake pedal, it will go all the way down to the floor. So there's one, two, three, and I've stopped. One, and I've held it down. Right, so while my foot was still pushed down on the pedal, we've tightened up the um, bleed nipple, and then all we've got to do is uh, gently pull that away and check no fluid comes up. Double check it's tight. Yeah. 
and we'll move on to the other side. And you may have to come back and uh, do it again, but it looks like most of the ears come out at the moment, so it's time to go on to the other side, and then you sort of see what pedal you've got. Right, so we've now done the um, driver's side and got there, uh, just as uh, I showed you, and uh, hopefully all going well. You should have um, a pedal. Uh, it certainly shouldn't go to floors. You can see just a small amount of movement. It will feel different because the engine's not running with the uh, servo on. And then all we do then is just check that the brakes are just locking the uh, disc up. Right. Brakes are on. Put them on. On. Off. Off. On again. On. Yeah, off. Off. So yeah, just a basic initial test just to make sure that when you put your foot on the brakes that disc does uh, lock. Obviously the wheels are off and the car's not on the ground. Hopefully that's give you a little idea of how we um, bleed the brakes and why if there's uh, two of you or even a third person to pour the fluid in to keep the levels up, it's uh, in some ways easier than using one of those automatic or sort of one person bleeding kits and we find that... Uh, it does seem to work better. Right, so the last thing to do is to put the lid back on the brake fluid reservoir, checking it's to a good level, which uh, this one is. Again, go nice and uh, gently with it so that you don't splash any fluid up and it should just click and uh, lock like that. So that is more or less this video at uh, an end. As always, it's not a how-to, but just um, a chance for you to see how we do the job. So if you're thinking of doing or interested in how that job works, you can have a little look through alongside looking at other videos and uh, using all the manuals. As always, thank you very much. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like and have a little look at our Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to look through some of the other videos as well.